don't care about the scene. I don't care about the location. All that matters not to me. But you wherever I go, baby. I just need you by my side. Yeah. That's until the day I die. There's a couple of things that make this trip special. The obvious being I'm going to Japan, one of the countries that I've been wanting to visit and see and experience for as long as I can remember, honestly. But the other one was the fact that I'm flying on a plane. People are starting to board, but I don't know if this is, this is gate 50, right? First plane ride in a very long time. It's been 11 years since I got on an international flight. Hey, I got wisdom from my papa. He ain't have a lot of money, but he taught me how to keep the perfect posture. So folding under pressure, that ain't something that I'm about to. Crabs in the barrel, I'm just trying to be a lobster. I hear my cousin told him to call. It's been 12 years and I ain't heard from him. Welcome to Singapore. Six out of the over. It's not too bad. We can make a day out of it. So, a quick recap of my first international flight in 11 years. I would say it was fairly uncomfortable. And I don't really care, if I'm being honest. Um, but we had no in entertainment, so there was no screen or no movies to watch. There was a an online QR code, which is essentially like their online hub that you can access. You can log into their like online hub, and I guess that's their, that's their entertainment. You can watch movies, I think. I haven't tried because I haven't turned it on yet. Yeah, it worked an hour into the flight and even then for you to access it you would have to pay $55 Australian for one gigabyte. The food was good. We I had uh, oriental, I think it was a oriental treasure rice. It was with pork, like cookies and a can of drink, which was great. I actually liked it. It was good for what it was. I wouldn't say I'm disappointed because um, I wasn't expecting the most luxurious flight, but I was would have liked to be more comfortable. It was a six hour flight and I was maybe asleep for an hour and 30 minutes of that on and off. I'm pretty sure that the fountain is this way. Well, that's what it says on the map. I might be wrong, but I'm fairly certain that if we go straight, it's the fountain. We're in the wrong terminal. I don't think the big cool fountain and the cool stuff are here. Unfortunately, most of the cool things that you can do in Changi Airport open at 10 a.m. Our flight is at 10.25 and boarding is earlier than that, obviously. So, good news is, I believe our flight, like the plane itself that we're taking, is Singapore Airlines. So, I am expecting a better and more comfortable experience compared to the first flight that we just took. And yeah, that's in like five hours. I'll admit that I'm very tired. I had barely any sleep. I do have a slight headache, so coffee is in the books very soon. I got my fix. I got my coffee, so therefore I'm happy. Even when the days feel low, face gonna have that glow. Already moving, where they ain't think I go. Never show your hand or fold. Keep that po <sighs> These are nice planes. This is the one that I was after. Uh, we just got to our plane that takes us from Singapore to Tokyo. Here we got full airplane entertainment. The air conditioning is running immediately as soon as you walked in. We've got pillows, blankets, we've got plenty of leg room. It's, it's just better. I am officially in Tokyo. <coughs> Cannot believe I'm here. But this is actually technically not our first destination, so. We made it, but we just have to travel about two more hours. What's happened? I haven't been able to walk back. I'm so tired. So tired. Funny. Damn, ain't it funny how the smartest people be beefing like they some dummies, but I hope you're doing as well now. Hope your family's well now. <sighs> so 
this is our first destination. It's midnight and there's nothing that's left open here. Everything's closed. So I don't know exactly what we need to do here. There's a taxi lane. It is dead quiet here. There's no taxis or Ubers available. And uh, I mean, it's only like a two kilometer walk. Not too bad, but still, we've been traveling for 24 hours. I'm so tired. So we're gonna have to just find a way to get to the hotel. My battery's about to die, but we've been walking for about 20 minutes now through <coughs> what feels like a ghost town. And it's so pretty, creepy, but pretty. It's raining, I'm soaking. Under the city lights, whatever the 